Building a house in Italy on an old ruin isn't easy. And when cancer and financial crisis wants to play along, it doesn't make it any easier. Have a look at this episode where we talk about Villa del Orso building in Piemonte. Welcome to Villa del Orso. Have a look inside and see and hear our story about what we did with this old ruin. Here we come in in the, in the, the welcome part uh, and here you see some of the structure from the old house and the old stone here. Uh, I said in the introduction that I wanted to tell you about the challenge we had building this house. Uh, there was, was a lot of things, um, construction, because we built the house on an old ruin and we wanted to, to keep the romantic uh, story about having an a old house uh, with a modern um, yeah, living. Um, but in the, in the um, process, my wife, the, the mother of uh, my kids, um, got a very, very bad diagnose, uh, cancer, column cancer. And uh, actually, she died in 2013, also the year I met Catherine. Uh, but for her, this was a challenge to get the house finished and uh, explore the house with, with the family and friends and everything. And we did that. Uh, she got sick in 2008, September, and we finished the house in May 2009. So she made it. Come along. As I said, uh, the old stones here are, are the original house. They are cleaned uh, by um, a sand blaster, and um, and um, the the grey part is the new house built up in this way. Come along. This is our bedroom. Um, we can say the main bedroom. Um, it is an old stable where the animals were here. You see some of the old um, yeah stuff where they were fitted here and um, we cleaned it. We dig down uh, one and a half meter to make a foundation in uh, concrete and isolation and everything. We have the, the underfloor heating here. So it was a kind of a challenge, but we kept the room as it is. And uh, as you can see, of course, we cleaned the stone by, by sandblaster and we, we um, did all this um, uh, with, with cement. So yeah, it's clean and, and no animals arrives in here. Not a lot of animals arrives in here. We have a door directly out and uh, a nice window there. Come in here. This is also a part of the old house. This is, was uh, an open part. All this were open and also this were dig down and I think I said isolation in the, in the other room. Uh, insulation of course. Also here we dig down and made the insulation uh, and underfloor heating. But this was an uh, open room for yeah, hay and uh, whatever they kept here. This is one of the three bathrooms in the house and really here I want to show you something. Here you can see the original wall and building on a ruin is very difficult because of you don't have the insulation uh, from the outside and you have water coming in and everything. We made a, a solution in the garden so water do not enter here. But I can surely recommend people who want to build a house like this. Tear down the old house, reuse the, the Lanke Roccavarano stone and then build a modern house with insulation and everything. We managed to, to, to build this with, with the, all the modern things, but it uh, took a lot of effort and a lot of money. Welcome to the first floor or the second floor, depending on how you pronounce. We have three floors here and uh, one staircase connecting to the um, upper floor with the two bedrooms and the bathroom. Uh, here we have mostly new part as you can see eric explained all the places where you can see the the the, the concrete walls uh, this is new and actually this year we had a huge makeover uh, we changed the surface on all the the walls because it 
needed it and we want to be the first who wants to to change something because we wanted it updated and new lamps here and there and everywhere so we had uh, a lot of job uh, by fixing the house the tiles here that gives an illusion of grandma's uh, Italian kitchen and uh, so on so yeah and uh, the lighting uh, is yes. from flush as everything almost mentioned that <laughs> in another episode yeah we really love floss lamps so yeah that's what we we use mostly uh, and then we have the, the the living room here which actually is on top of the the stable the one of the bedrooms you saw downstairs and um, yeah it was a uh, height and raised because Actually, there's a couple of meters down here, but a lot of things happens during the process. You find out what to do and what not to do. And you can see the line here from the, the old ruin where the... It, where the, the yeah, here you can really is. see what we talked about. That the old part of the house, the, the Lancaster stone there, has not been touched. They have been cleaned and they have been um, plastered. Um, but this is the original thing and here you can really see where the line is from the old to the new house some and kind of a challenge yeah and the fireplace for for winter days and uh, yeah the coziness on a summer day you never use it but in the winter time that's so also cozy. made where is the house located can you tell our viewers a little oh, bit oh yeah that? it's a location where are we yeah, uh, we're located in uh, Roccaverano, which actually is the highest uh, city or village in uh, in Asti, and um, so it's the like the province of Asti. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, province of Asti, exactly. and it's uh, eight hundred something meters above. I think it is. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and here kitchen, the which is uh, very nice because. There's so much space when you you are on holiday. It's so nice to to do the cooking together, and uh, there's a lot of space around here. And yeah, oak uh, countertop, and uh, we had a change with some some stone, which makes it easier for our guests. And uh, so you don't so we have some place when you take your pots and pans and things out of the oven. So yeah. So this is uh, our country house. Let's have a look outside. We are in Piemonte, the um, northern part of Italy still. So we have three houses, as we talked about before. And this is the oldest one, um, built in 2009, as I said. And, and this is also one of the uh, major upgrades from this, from, from the, the, the spring. We had this made, so on a, on a moisty day, evening, or whatever, you can or always... hot evening. Yes. Because it, it makes a shade yes. and it makes a cover for if it should rain. I mean, this summer we haven't had any rain. No, so, yeah. no, 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 but the idea was Which also... has been a, 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 a huge problem for Piemonte. Yeah. The whole area here on the mountains is based on terraces built by these stones. The farmers did it way back and uh, it's also to support the whole terrain and of course we have to support <laughs> our terrain here so we had to make some extra supporting walls in concrete and now covered with stones so now we have this uh, very very nice shelf with the uh, herbs and so on so Probably the last just in Piemonte. I think it's more or less the longest one. <laughs> Actually, the prettiest in my opinion. And also because we have a swimming pool up here, so that's why we also have a, to make a lot of supporting walls. But uh, I can show you the, the surroundings here. But uh, as we are in November, even though the weather is amazing, we have closed up the swimming pool for this season. But uh, We will show some pictures. But it's amazing no matter what, but too cold for the season. This is Catherine's uh, Italian scooter. I want to tell you a little thing about the house here. All you see here is built up from new. Uh, inside we constructed, or the, the builder constructed a modern house uh, with insulation and everything. 
and uh, on the other side, on the outdoor side, they put up these old uh, Lanke stone. Actually, they are called Roccavarano stones up here. And uh, this is some special craftsmen who can, who can do this work. There were two guys and uh, yeah, they, they made this puzzle. So inside you have a modern house, outside you have an old house. Uh, this is uh, how you do it when you don't have the, the, the old ruin and the walls in good condition. And actually, you can build a whole house without any kind of concrete or anything because it's just the gravity of the gravity stones. Holds it together. Uh, I must say these are behind these are um, they cement. cheated. Yeah, they cheated <laughs> a little bit. There's a insulation and the cement, but yeah, correct. The, we'll show you some parts of the house is only hold together by gravity. I'll show you later. As I said. We finished the house in 2009. We started the process in 2006. And if you have the dream about um, building your own house in Italy, Northern Italy, we would love to help you with this. We have a little business going on there. With, we're helping people. This house was meant in the beginning to be a house for family and friends, but uh, the, the process um, went to, to be this guest house where we have six rooms, two of them are up here on the top floor. When you want to find a house in Italy, you need to find out where do you want to build. A lot of people ask me about south and north and, and west and east, but you need to find your spot. Where do you want to build your house? It could be Tuscany, it can be Lombardia, it could be Veneto, it could be uh, Piemonte. So find out where to build and then uh, start up the process. I just wanted to show you the amazing view from up here. We have a, uh, yeah, this is the top floor. Um, we have a fantastic view up here. Having all the ideas about having a building a nice house and so on is not all. You really have to find somebody that you can rely on and that can also be a little bit of an issue. But we've been lucky and um, also a bit clever <laughs> finding the, the, the perfect team that works so good with us. So we can have the things made the way we want them to be and no one is cheating us. So that's a huge issue also because if you don't, if you aren't fluent in, in Italian, then it can also be a huge hassle to just the communication. So that's also a big issue. As Catherine said earlier, some part of the house is made of the old stone, the original stones. This part is made of the old Lanke slash Roccavarano stone. And actually, uh, this part up to the line up there is made, is, is not touched, but it's made without concrete, cement or whatever. It's held together by gravity. And if you see that line up there, it's completely straight after hundreds of years. Uh, I think it's amazing. We think it's amazing. These stones are from the soil. When the farmers built these old houses for family and animals, they, they took these stone up from the soil when they used the soil to, to farm. And all the terraces they made, they made to, to make land because, as we said, you're on a hilly side and you have no fields like we have in, in Denmark. Denmark is completely flat. Uh, but here you have uh, mountains all over. So the farmers made these terraces, as they are called, and they made the walls in these stones. And they built also the houses in these stones. This was a poor man house. It was a farmer house. And they actually, when they got some money, they, they put plaster and a color on the houses. And when, when uh, people want to, to live out the dream about a uh, Piemonte house, they want this style normally, and if it's plastered on, uh, the, the craftsmen, they, they clean it off so you have this surface again. But this part is, is uh, the original and it's uh, yeah, hundreds of years old. There's also some rules about how houses are supposed yeah, to look in the area. You can, you can say that in this area, we are in Lanke. Uh, in the south part of Piemonte, there are rules. You cannot uh, come here and find a ruin, ruin, sorry, 
and just build the house the way you want. You, you have to keep the style of the Piemontese houses. So, so um, normally people, foreigners, also want the houses in this style. So no blue or yellow funny color houses uh, or modern houses. It can be hard enough to build a house without shutters. Uh, we don't have any shutters, but normally uh, it can be a, a, a part of the, the laws from the commune that we, you need to have the shutters. And that's why it's a very good idea to get a user, local architect or yes. geometer yes. who knows Always. all the rules. Yes. Again, if you want any help, you know where to find us. This is also uh, the original surface from, uh, from way back when, uh, with these amazing straight uh, corners and so on. We've actually seen when they do work on those stones, it's amazing job they can do. It's uh, really skilled uh, workers that does these things. And uh, yeah, it's so also crazy with this original old wood it's like several hundred years old and uh, yeah poor man's house in my eyes it looks very uh, exclusive also because it's a local stone and i mean you do not uh, transport stones like these to other parts of the world but um, so it's very unique and uh, tuscany has their own style they also do stone houses more or less like this but as we talked about, there are many places where you have to do the special style. That's why Italy keeps on looking like Italy as we love it. When uh, building the houses, uh, materials, lighting and so on is very, very important. Everything, in our opinion, everything is important. So it will be a long list of important, important, important for me. But uh, you have to stick with the few things that if it's for guests, it has to be a little more durable without looking like something that's not delicate because it's a fine balance between delicate and more like robust for, for, for guests. Lamps you cannot move around, but still you have enough light. Light is a huge thing for us. So that's why we, we always do some, some uh, updating on the lighting and uh, LED here and candle lights there and uh, a lot of different things. Uh, materials, this is oak, oiled oak. It has now like uh, more than 10 years. It has had a lot of dinners. I think it could tell already a lot of nice stories, but some some rough materials that everybody like, more or less everybody like, and keep a simple style. And we do a lot of uh, consulting on this, uh, help a lot of people when they do have to, to finish up their house. Um, so there's a lot of issues that you have to consider. With the kitchen, you need uh, not of, enough of uh, everything for, for all this. and use some, some materials that can last for a long time in style and also the durability of, of the products is extremely important. We have a High lot of High quality contacts. but not everything made in not gold fashion. and diamonds? No. And, and not fashion, it has to be like more contemporary without a special style but that's also a style so yeah. Exactly. That's what we Talking do. about style, we made this house in this style because we wanted this country house to look not to villa like we call it villa del Oso, but i hope you know what i mean not too too fine not too I mean, posh i think it's called posh. posh yeah maybe it's called yeah. posh but i mean uh, rough materials and in this country style i hope you like it but uh, yeah we do the houses different next time we're gonna talk a little bit about our newest house which has a little secret in it we'll talk about this later Bye-bye.